The FIT Group is based in Luckborg in southern Germany between Nuremberg and Regensburg, the home of this specialist supplier for rapid prototyping and additive volume manufacturing with over 20 years of operational expertise. What is currently the largest capacity of additive manufacturing for metal parts worldwide is located in a production area measuring 7,000 square meters. An expansive integration of advanced systems from SLM Solutions Group AG based in Lübeck is available for the serial production of highly complex parts. It is not about a machine. It's about the complete digital and industrial manufacturing. What that means? It means very reliable, very low cost, and absolutely independent from single stuff. We at FIT try to achieve exactly that in our new ADM factory to be one of the leading companies of industrial ADM manufacturing in the future. The FIT Group strategy encompasses three segments. FIT prototyping provides a wide range of technologies and materials for rapid prototyping. FIT production is the industry leader for additive volume manufacturing. Sintermask develops hardware and software components and is responsible for the optimization and industrialization of additive manufacturing at FIT. The results are high quality products made of plastics and metals for the widest variety of applications and industries, including automotive, medical technology, aviation and mechanical engineering. Additive volume manufacturing begins with a thorough analysis of part design and function which defines the subsequent additive redesign. This example demonstrates the ability to significantly reduce the weight of an automotive bracket made of aluminum. Here we have a conventionally manufactured part made of formed steel. It's easy to understand that additive manufacturing of this conventional design in large volume makes no sense. If we wish to produce this part in a truly cost-efficient way, we have to implement a number of design guidelines, especially if we wish to also improve the part by significant weight reduction. In other words, we have to incorporate new tools that additive manufacturing provides and allows for. With this goal, we at FIT have invented ADM, that is, Additive Design and Manufacturing. It means that we strive to put a completely new design language into practice, and one that improves the manufacturing process too. Incorporating ADM also allows for the reduction of post-processing, which brings a number of advantages with it. We only want to use material where it's actually needed. Furthermore, it's also important for us to position and orient the part in an optimal way inside the build chamber. This will ensure production of the highest quality part to meet the customer's needs and specifications. In order to implement this cumulative know-how really well, it takes a great deal of engineering experience and expertise, both of which we provide to customers here at FIT. The starting point for redesigning the automotive bracket is to analyze the conventional steel part. The dataset is loaded into a CAD system in order to define the design space needed for topology optimization. Using a program for optimizing topology, a number of design variants with reduced material volume are created to meet given sets of loads and forces. Using finite element analysis, each design iteration is then tested and evaluated with respect to the corresponding stresses. In the next step, the topology optimized design is then further optimized to meet the requirements for cost-efficient volume manufacturing. The complete optimization process requires several iteration cycles. Different prototypes are physically produced to study and identify the true optimal solution. The final version of the CAD model is designed and evaluated to reflect all requirements and boundary conditions. A successful final test of the prototype completes the design process. By changing the bracket material from steel to aluminum and using the resulting additive design, 
we were able to create a part that weighs just 203 grams, requiring only 3 grams of support material. We achieved this through a specifically tailored additive design. For example, the bracket starts out narrow at the bottom, then widens, resulting in a self-supporting geometry. This allowed us to only use a minimal amount of support material along the bottom edge of the bracket that contacts the build plate. We eliminated the support material for the lateral attachments as we were able to modify the angles in such a way that avoids the need for support structures. In addition, we've removed material and the corresponding weight in areas with low stress, such as here in the rear flange section. The resulting design is quite unique, but for us it was a great opportunity to remove a significant amount of material. The strut sections were designed completely hollow, and the loose metal powder was blown out through the holes along the sides after the part was completed. In order to save even more weight, we designed out more material in the rear section. After all engineering steps have been completed, the support structures are skillfully added during data preparation and the final production-specific adjustments are made. The design of the serial part aims to achieve a maximum packing density in the build chamber to reduce manufacturing costs as much as possible. Once the prepared data have been transferred to the specified machine, the build job is started. In the case at hand, the large size of the build envelope of the SLM 500 system allows the manufacturing of 15 identical parts within one build job. The quality of each of the single parts produced is assured by a wide array of monitoring and evaluation methods during and after the laser melting process. FIT's factory monitoring system, a proprietary development, displays the parameters for each individual system in real time, allowing for sophisticated statistical analyses afterwards. Once the build process has ended, the build cylinder is removed from the machine. The reusable metal powder is separated in the depowdering station. By using exchangeable job boxes, the system is immediately available for the next build job. In volume manufacturing, it is essential to assure the constant quality of the serial parts. Reliable quality can be achieved by measuring and evaluating the parts, considering all tolerances specific to the build process involved. The subsequent post-processing steps include various advanced manufacturing procedures such as the CNC milling of holes. Final machining of the serial parts occurs after removing them from the substrate plate. Depending on the customer's requirements, QA may include the advanced measuring of each individual part. Fit production is certified in compliance with ISO 9001 for our general quality management, with EN 9100 for aviation and aerospace, and EN ISO 13485 for medical products, and fulfills the requirements set by the FDA in the USA. In addition to traditional material testing methods, such as the control of cross sections under a light optical microscope, FIT also employs an in-house CT scanner to verify and confirm the quality of inner structures by fast and non-destructive inspection. At FIT, we have more than 20 years of experience in producing prototypes. More than 10 years experience making real components like implants. During the last years, we invested more than $30 million into AM technology. With our excellent team, fantastic technology, and a lot of IP, we are able to produce high performance components for the end customers of our customers. This brings them a significant cost-saving potential. 